Okay, so a quick unboxing of the vertical module by Etochrome. It looks like they've changed up their packaging a little bit uh, to make it more environmentally friendly. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than what I've experienced in the past and a, a lot different in so far as like feel. But I mean, I can't hate too much on it. I don't really, I'm not paying for the box, but I am paying for the shipping experience. So hopefully nothing got broken. Here's a top down of the vertical module of what is included. Looks like this is the angle plate. Looks like everything's shipped just fine. So I can't complain too much about the packaging. So this is the angle plate this, insofar as like how you connect it to the vertical module. It's good to see that it's not just friction based and it has these actual teeth on the junction or the yeah the junction here between what's connected to the vertical module and what's connected to your camera that's nice you tighten it down with a little bit of, of uh, you know umph here and this ain't going anywhere so it looks like this goes on the other end of the slider where you take these cables and connect them to help with the vertical module uh, you know bringing it up or down or whatever direction so we'll move that off to the side the actual vertical module itself. So here's the actual vertical module. We'll look at this in more detail here shortly. I wanna get into what's included in the accessory box. This is all the stuff you're gonna to need to modify your slider motor version five uh, to adapt to fit and work with the vertical module. Um, Aerocone has some instructional guides on their website that are available to you. So feel free to check those out per the link that is in the bottom of your packaging. So. Make sure you watch that in its entirety and you know modify your equipment as needed to make this thing work with your slider plus motor taking a closer look at the vertical module itself this is the top where the angle plate goes and this is a 3 8 uh, thread on the top here with two rubber rubberized grips so it's not going to slide or anything like that that'll help with that actually uh, moving on to this side of it you see auto still has a patent pending with this um, and then a warning or a caution label as well Moving on to this angle knob, it shares the same design as the angle plate. You know, it has a serrated teeth in here, so it helps from slippage. It's not just based on like tension. So you move it to a specific angle that you would like and tighten it down in that position and it will stay. There's not any play or anything like that. And it doesn't take much. Don't over torque that and just be careful with this, you know, this in general. But you do want to make sure that the teeth are engaged and you got a pretty clear visibility here within that little realm right there, or that little area. Uh, looking at the other side, labeled vertical module, and that's pretty much it for the vertical module. Uh, let's go ahead and get this attached and run some samples so I can talk you through like how uh, good this thing is or how bad it is, and we'll, we'll just do that. Let's do it. So here's the vertical module with the slider plus pro compact on top of it with the motor version three, I believe. If you wanna watch a video on this setup, these two items here, I'll leave it uh, carded right here. Feel free to check that out. This system in and of itself is awesome. So what is awesome about the vertical module alone? Well, it's a $400 attachment that requires no power from the slider motor. So it's not gonna draw any battery power for it to work because it's all driven off spring-loaded uh, cables. There's five of them here on this side and it's uh, you know just a friction-based system that helps support the motor draw it back up into its vertical motion or its incline that's at a steeper you know incline per se if they could put a bubble level inside of this angle plate that would be awesome because that would help you set that this thing is actually level um, there's really no way to tell without doing something like this on your own um, it's something that i've always done with some of this edelchrome gear because it doesn't have built-in bubble levels like you know, for example, Manfrotto makes a head that has a bubble level built in. They could do the same thing here. Um, I just don't know why they don't. Maybe it's a cost thing or something. I don't know. The next uh, real big concern that I have with this system is that this angle, this L bracket, if I pull this up, they didn't include a 3 8 thread. So that becomes problematic when you want to add, say, the head plus version 2 on it. So I had to use a 3 8 adapter on the head to get it fit here. Now I get where they're going with this and they could maybe include a 3 8 uh, little mod, you know, little freaking tool here like this because I, I really don't want to put a 3 8 thread adapter inside of the head plus because sometimes those things get stuck and I don't want that to get stuck in such an expensive piece of kit. So Edelkron, if you're listening, please include um, an adapter that's a whole module like this with the L bracket that is 3 8 thread so you can attach it to your other equipment. 
Um, that's probably the biggest markdown that I give this system. One recommendation that I'm gonna make to you if you bought this uh, vertical module and are attaching your L bracket is that to loosen up the L bracket, open it all the way up and tighten it as tight as you can to the surface of this slide module. Because if you don't, there is a potential that this will slide off in either way and that could prove disastrous for your camera equipment. Now, I am speaking to that on a specific experience, so I, had to, I caught it because I'm, you know, I'm used to having Etochrome gear, so I'm really close to it when I'm learning how to set it up. So just tighten this down as tight as you can to the uh, slider uh, base plate. So I have my system completely set up. This is a Head Plus version two, a slider plus Pro Compact, and the slider motor on top of the vertical module. Another thing that I wanna harp on Etochrome for is that there's a, there's a tension nut on the bottom of this. You'll see it if you purchase this that they want you to make adjustments to, but they do not include the Allen key. Thankfully, I have this little road Allen key that fits just perfectly. I mean, you may have some smaller ones. I don't know the exact size, but it's smaller than the, the Allen key that's included in the packaging. And I don't know why. Maybe it was just missed on my package. You know, I'm at a loss right there. It's a little frustrating that I had to go dig around for this. I'm glad I had it. But if you don't have it, you have to have two sets of Allen keys uh, available. And, I mean, if you have a tool like this uh, wooden camera one or like a red tool or something, that will work too. But um, it's always better to have a specific Allen key that works for it. I wish they would include that and allow you to stow it away in the uh, slider motor like the one that is in on the side here that they have you make adjustments with. Not the same size, completely different. I don't go figure. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and talk about how you're going to put this thing into vertical mode with your camera gear on top of it. Uh, pay close attention to the instruction video, but I will give you some tips and tricks. One, make sure that you have a tripod that's strong enough to hold this thing up. Uh, the last thing you want to do is have your system teeter on the edge and fall over because a lot of weight goes into one side of this system. So I will link the tripod that I'm using in this video and it seems to work really well for it and you can, you know, it's, it's working well. Um, again, linked in the description if you want to use the same exact tripod that I'm using. That being said, you want to lock everything down. Uh, one thing that I did learn is that you're going to turn the head module like this facing away from you because the limitations of the system when you go into full vertical mode, will I'll show you here in a sec. And make sure it's locked down. If you have a head uh, version one, they don't have this little locking nut, so make sure you're supporting your system as you're making these adjustments. So I'm gonna stand up here because I wanna make sure that I'm holding my system stable while I do this as I flip it up and over into full vertical mode as such. And now that that is, I'll scoot this over so you can see and watch me go through this process. I grab this angle bracket and put it straight ahead. And I can use the bubble level. Uh, as you can see, I didn't lock the slider. You're gonna wanna lock your slider in place before you do so. But that's why I hold all of my camera gear prior to doing any of this. So here's the limitations of the vertical module. If you can't already notice, uh, if you unlock the head, it can't spin because it's gonna hit the motor. And you can spin it that way quite a bit, but coming back this way, it's gonna hit the motor. And take each one of these cables and lock them in place with the attached plate because you need to have enough resistance to allow this system to work. I will say that their instructional video is a little bit vague and I've had quite a bit of trouble getting it to go back up. It's the weight of the system for sure. I've done all the adjustments that I can. I just have trouble getting it to go back up. And it works. And I love the shots that I'm getting. For 400 bucks, I mean, you really can't beat this addition because it, again, it doesn't draw any power. It's all based off friction and springs and all of it's uh, spring loaded. And it works really, really well. You just have to be really careful when you're learning how to use this system uh, as soon as you get it. it. When it works, this is adds a whole different element to your shooting. Um, if you're really married to the vertical, you know, up and down, I would say that maybe the head, head plus is probably not the best case because the lighter it is, the, the more smooth your, your, your 
shots are going to be and the slower they are the even better they're going to be so if there's something that i need to figure out on my end as far as like adjustment on uh tension and stuff because i mean it works you can see it it's just i'm having trouble with skipping gears and stuff uh, i think that's a, a learning curve that i need to get over uh, and then making adjustments to this little this little nut here with the allen key that was not included um i think i can get this thing to work here live and that being said if i Tighten that a little bit. I think that's, you see what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm running into these issues where I over tighten this one too much and I under tighten the, the actual um, tension knob on the, the side of the motor. So, and then I get these skipping gears and stuff. But this is just based on a week's worth of usage. Um, I will say that when I go any angular, so I'm gonna put it in an angle mode so I can show you guys instead of sitting here talking about it. So I forgot to lock the motor or the slider, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it in this angle right here, because this seems pretty close to what I want to achieve. And this is where the bubble level comes into play, because I use it to balance or like equalize my system. And then this, I can loosen this a little bit. And then this will provide my slide. Seems balanced. See if I can slide it. Tighten a little bit. A little bit more. There it is. So if you're ready to mess with this thing and like figure it out, it's gonna take some learning, of course, like any piece of gear. And this is a this is a whole different dynamic when it comes to Edo Chrome. You see, it's working now. So I mean when I'm doing these types of shots, no problem, but full vertical mode, I'm still struggling. If you purchase this thing and you know like some tips and tricks with the Head Plus uh, module, please leave it in the comment below for other people to see and for me to learn from you as well. Cause I mean, you guys drive this channel just as much as I do. Anyways, so that is the summary of the vertical module from Edochrone. And this is just a week's worth of usage. Again, I'm still learning. Uh, there are some shortfalls with this system, but for 400 bucks, I mean, this just adds a whole different dimension to my B-roll. Like, I absolutely love this thing uh, so far. I, I'm not complaining yet because I know it's user error on my part and how to configure it and make it, you know, balance it out perfectly. Feel free to leave some comments down below if you're, uh, you know, interested in this or if you have questions, I'll, I'll, I'll answer them. Uh, in my limited experience, I'll do the best I can. All right, so here's an opportunity for some B-roll footage and I'm using this other camera to kind of shoot this setup as it's going. As you can hear, the motor's still struggling and I wanted to give this to you to be completely transparent. I guarantee you it's either early product, you know, cause I'm on the bleeding edge of this stuff. It is what it is. And that's the sound that it's making. I know I need to do a little bit more learning with this system and, and kind of finagling it to fit within my needs. But with that being said, if I'm not shooting any like interviews, which I hardly ever do, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. As you can see, it was going up, didn't make a sound. Like the, the utility that it adds to my slider setup is just something that I think is of extreme high value for how much it costs. But I'll be quiet here for a sec. I'll get close to the motor. That's either user error or, you know, early uh, equipment type of things because I've been getting a ton of updates on the Edochrone app on my phone. One thing that I will note is that if you have a Head Plus, um, I don't know if, if this is something that you should go for um, just because of that noise. The heavier the system is, the harder that system has to work in bringing it back up. I will say I changed the batteries on the slider module and it seemed to lighten up the system and make it easier for it to draw it back up in a vertical position. That's where the power module comes into play where I have over here on my um, jib one. I think that would add a ton to this because it's removing all the battery weight from each one of the systems and that extra weight it bounced a little there that extra weight um, that is having to drive up and down is probably something that you can remove also don't use heavy lenses well that was crazy don't use heavy lenses like the sigma uh, 24 to 70 that i have here use a lighter lens to lighten up the system if you have other lighter etochrome gear that to throw on this thing i think it's going to work absolutely phenomenally and it's going to drive the results that you would expect from their promotional videos and stuff like that but 
with that all out of the way, like, um, you know, I am having some issues with setup, but it's me being new to this system. It is what it is. And I'm, I'm still willing to, you know, sacrifice that because again, I don't care about that noise and I'm going to figure it out over the time that I have this system. Um, I think that is all I have to say about the vertical module. This is an early unboxing and first impressions of this system. And I think it's something I'm going to keep. I'm, this definitely adds a lot of value to the type of work that I do here on this channel. That is all up to you to make that a decision. Let me be quiet. Yeah, that's something I need to figure out, I think, or maybe it's something to do with the motor. Anyways, it's, I'm going to figure this out and then over time it'll get better. I'll probably do a full review later on. If you're interested in that, please feel free to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed the transparency here. I purchased this thing because I wanted to see what it added value. I think it does. I love it so far, even with that, all these little quirks and stuff that I'm working through. Um, I'm definitely keeping it. So if you're interested in pricing and availability, it will be linked in the description. Uh, that is, those are my affiliate links. And just know that I make a little bit of kickback based on the purchases that you make through those links. At, without it costing you anything in addition to your orders and all that type of stuff. It just helps support content creation here on this channel. Um, well, that about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I am Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.